Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and of course, uh, we'll talk a little bit about the future of uh, Windows, the future of what's going to be available, in which versions. Uh, I've got some questions about Microsoft Edge Chromium. When will it be uh, within Windows? And uh, will Edge, the original Edge, still be there? A few things I got to answer there. Of course, a lot of questions about the November 2019 update still coming in. So as you see here, I am on the November 2019 update. This is 18.363.449. We are less than a week away from the apparent release. Apparently, this is next Tuesday, November the 12th, that this is going to happen. So today we are Wednesday, uh, November the 6th. And uh, so we are just, you know, barely, not even a week away from basically the uh, release of the November 2019 update. So a week before you can actually get that has a cumulative update, so it's going to be a smaller update than the regular updates. Some interesting changes on the Insider program that are going to probably impact what we are have, what's happening here. Uh, for those that actually uh, are in the Insider program, skip ahead, which was one of the rings where you would see a future version, much more advanced version than anybody else, is gone. That will not exist anymore. Uh, we know that 20H1 is soon to be here. Uh, the next version after the November 2019 update is pretty much feature complete or close to it. And what's interesting is that it should RTM or should be uh, basically released to insiders at least uh, in December, which is kind of interesting. That means January would be the time when all of this happens. Um, one of the things that we think is going to happen, so, you know, let's, let's talk about the browser, the Microsoft Edge Chromium that you see here. This is Edge Chromium. This is the latest version of the Edge Chromium browser from uh, the developer side. Now, we know that January 15th is when this is going to be official. And rumors are that in January... We possibly January or February will have 20H1 for everybody. So um, at, at the latest early February, that would include the new Edge Chromium browser with the new icon. That also means that Edge, the regular Edge would be like really, really, you know, far away and possibly very, very, you know, hidden to make sure that you don't go there. Uh, so 20H1 is possibly the first version of Windows 10 that will be uh, coming and shipped with the Microsoft Edge Chromium browser. So that means that everybody in January, early February at the latest um, would be having the uh, next version of Windows 10. And that would actually come with the fact that, well, you know, we uh, will have the Windows 7 uh, last update for Windows 7 for security. So this is, of course, kind of interesting. The uh, next version, 20H1, doesn't have a lot of new stuff. Once again, uh, for people that are you know waiting for a new version of Windows for all you know all new features, and we're uh, feature-wise, uh, this is probably the quiet, really quiet year, quietest year uh, in 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 a long time. And I think they understand that. Uh, Let's just focus a little more on other little details. It is interesting because as this week is Microsoft Ignite Conference, we, uh, of course, have a lot of news of things happening. But one of them is the fact that the um, one of them is, is really that there's a lot of focus on Edge Chromium. Uh, it seems to be a big thing. There's a lot of focus on, of course, enterprise stuff, Azure. Not a lot of focus on Windows 10, honestly. It seems that um, we're not really focusing there. We're focusing on Edge Chromium that will be interesting. We know that Edge Chromium is going to be available for Linux. So that means every platform will have the Edge Chromium browser available if you want to, which is kind of interesting. And um, will it you know, catch on? Will it be something people will want? I don't know, but we'll see. And uh, all of this, of course, is coming up. So if we look at a uh, quick timeline, uh, in less than a week, on November 12th, we will have the uh, November 2019 update that's going to start to roll out. After that, RTM for insiders at least uh, end of December 20H1, the early version for next year. 
somewhere in January or February that will be starting to release to everybody. And um, on the insider rings, well, there's going to be some changes. So 20H1 is going to become a slow ring testing. We'll have 20H2. That is something coming up later in the year. Well, actually, mid-year because they want to RTM the next version of Windows next year after that in June rather than October or November like they wanted. That also kind of tells us one thing. These will not have a lot of new features because if they are actually having these versions quicker, that means there will also be less new features. Let's just hope that they test it well, make sure that, you know, it doesn't have any problems. And once again, for those asking me, you know, should I get the November 2019 update? I think if you have to have an update, that's the one that you should get because it really fixes a lot of bugs. As for a question that I got from some viewers about, um, well, 1903, the May 2019 update, get the fixes of, uh, tw of, of um, you know, um, the November 2019 update. Uh, of course they will, because they will get the same updates. That means the May 2019 update will get some of the fixes, of course, that has been released in the November 2019 update because they are synchronized and receive roughly the same amount of uh, the same updates. So, uh, and that's one thing that they've been testing out. So that means when an update is available for the May 2019, it's going to be available for the November 2019 also. So this is also something that we know. So uh, looking ahead, some changes and some interesting new stuff happening. New browser coming up, probably shipped with 20H1. And that's where we are at on the future of all of this. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, just write them down in the comments. And if needed, we'll do another uh, questions and answer with all of this. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.